When you visit Mexico City, you will know that Friday nights are usually spent at the Arena Mexico, the place to see one of Mexico's most popular sporting events, Lucha Libre. This is Mexico's version of professional wrestling and the Mexicans love this as much as they love watching football. At first, I wasn't really interested in watching a bunch of people with masks beat each other up dramatically. But if you'd like to dig deeper into the Mexican culture, this is not something you should miss. It is a rainy day in Mexico, but that doesn't stop us to go to a Lucha Libre show. So right now we are on our way to Arena Mexico where we're going to watch Lucha Libre. This is my first time to watch it in spite of being in Mexico for a long time. And I'm really excited. We bought the tickets online, so we have to claim it here. Lucha Libre tickets can be easily purchased online and they only cost between 15 to 25 USD, depending on the seat row you want to purchase. You can check the full guide on my blog, psimonmyway.com, for more instructions and guides on how to watch Lucha Libre in Mexico City. Got the tickets! I'm very excited. We are waiting for Danny. Danny is from the Philippines and she, ah, she's here! Let us go. Cameras are also not allowed inside the arena, but I managed to sneak in one of my smallest cameras, the DJI Osmo. It's super small and they didn't notice that it was even a camera. They took my camera, so most of the clips here are from the iPhone. In 1863, a Mexican wrestler Enrique Ugartechea developed the art of freestyle wrestling based on the Greco-Roman traditions. Then, in 1933, the father of Lucha Libre, Salvador Luteroth Gonzalez, established the Mexican Wrestling Federation called Empresa Mexicana de Lucha Libre. Lucha Libre became popular in Mexico because of these two events. One, it was shown on television which ignited public consciousness. Second, in 1942, El Santo, an anonymous wrestler, stepped into the ring in Mexico City with his silver mask and won the eight-man battle royale. Mexicans went wildly curious about this mysterious silver masked wrestler and from there, El Santo became the most popular fighter of all time. In Spanish, a lucha libre fighter is called a luchador. Lucha Libre is like American pro wrestling where two or more wrestlers do a choreographed face off in a ring. The one who pins down his or her opponents within three seconds wins. Although some Mexican luchadores say that Mexican wrestling is so far from that of the Americans as it requires physical strength and athletic skills. Luchadores also need to learn how to do aerial tricks, and they say Lucha Libre is not all about brute force. At the end of the fight, the loser must remove their mask and reveal their identity. There are lots of luchadores who have been doing this as a full-time career, so it is very important for them to defend their mask over the course of their careers. You 
You can watch Lucha Libre in all major cities of Mexico, huh? not only in Mexico City. So if you are in Guadalajara or Oaxaca, they also have these shows. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think about this show in the comments below.